Hi, my name is Pete and I'm at Rimmer's Music in Edinburgh and today I want to show you a little bit about the Arias range of Yanaha digital pianos. I have here the fantastic Yamaha YDP 145 and 165, both incredible little pianos. There are also slimline versions of these pianos for those who prefer that sleeker look. Firstly, let's have a chat about the upgrades from the previous models, the 144 and 164. Um, so the 145 and the 165 both benefit from an improved sound. Now that's due to Yamaha's new tone escape construction. So the way it works is it brings the player even closer to the sound and it really does project the sound beautifully. Another big improvement is the new virtual resonance modeling light. Now this is the first time that a modeling technology like this has ever been used in Arias and it reproduces the rich sympathetic resonant tones created by the vibrations of the strings to so all corresponding with the individual player and it does mean that it really does pick up all the little nuances of your playing. So now we've had a little chat about the changes between the previous range and the current models, let's have a look at the differences between the 145 and the 165. So I'd like to split this up into three categories, touch, sound and features. So first of all, let's talk about the touch or the action. The 145 here has a GHS action. Now that's graded hammer standard and it just means that it gets progressively lighter as you move up the keyboard in the same way that an acoustic piano does. Now the 165 here has GH3. Now again, graded hammer, but the three stands for three sensors effectively. There is that extra sensor so fast playing can be detected and reproduced perfectly. Now the feeling on the key tops is also really different between the two. While the 145 is plastic, the 165 is a synthetic ivory and ebony feeling key top so you don't slip about the keys. It's absolutely fantastic to play. Both pianos have got four types of touch response so you can adjust how heavy or light the keys feel. They both have an actual 92 note polyphony with key off samples, but the 165 also has that smooth release. Now that makes a difference, when, especially when you're playing legato music. That kind of brings us on nicely to the way these instruments sound. Both have got 10 voices or instruments from the CFX Grand Piano, which is Yamaha's nine foot flagship grand. Uh, to electric pianos, to harp scores and strings. Um, let's focus on the important one, the piano. Both feature, as I say, that CFX concert brand, and that piano is meticulously sampled, and it is a very welcome addition to the Arias range. Let's face it, to get a grand piano that costs about 130,000 pounds, something under a thousand pounds is absolutely phenomenal. The other big difference between the two is the amplifiers, the amplification. Now the 145 has two 8 watt amplifiers, while the 165 has two 20 watt amplifiers. Now this additional power enables us to really distinguish more clarity at each end of that piano spectrum. Both use a stereophonic optimizer for the headphone sounds. Now that simulates the space between you and the instrument. Both feature IAC or Intelligent Acoustic Control. Now that you can tweak to adjust the overall volume. Now, no matter how dynamically you're playing, it effectively serves as a compressor, so giving us a consistent volume, whether you're at low volume or high volume. Both the 145 and the 165 come with very similar features. Both have dual mode, where you can layer the voices on top of each other. They have duo mode, which is where the piano is split into two, with two identical ranges, right for the duets. Uh, both feature metronomes, basic recording devices, master tuning, and both are compatible with the Yamaha's brilliant free smart pianist app. Now, the connectivity is good, both feature USB to host, which effectively turns your YDP into a MIDI controller. And as standard, I suppose you can obviously wear headphones with both. So what's the verdict? Which one should we get? The 165 is a massive step up from that 145. The key action and feel is far superior, while the sound quality is also massively improved. And while the features are pretty much the same on both, the big differences in touch and sound make the YDP 165 well worthy for these extra pennies in this first time. 
now I'd just like to give you a quick run through of each of the voices on each of the pianos so you can tell for yourself.
you have enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to all the usual channels and pop into the store and visit us soon. We look forward to seeing you. Have a good day.